So in this part of the video, I'll be walking you guys through on how to learn about group hour in Tailwind CSS. So before getting right into the, the concept of group hour, let me just show you an example of an issue that will occur if you don't use group hour. As you can see here, we happen to have a button right here and this particular button, let's add some hover effects. So first of all, let's go to this particular button component right here. Let me just click on this. We'll be going to this particular button component in React. And as you can see here, we happen to have some styling already been coded right here. So let me just add another line of code just to have some hover effects. So in this case, I'll have to add hover. And when we hover on top of the button, I'll have to give some background color of red that when we hover on this particular button right here we are able to see the button has um, background color of red of course as you can see the text has been missing because of this particular color it's actually the same color of the background so in this case let's add another hover effect just for the text to have some a visible color when we hover on top of the button so let's go to this particular span tag right here i'll have to add another hover addition like this in this case I like to add some text color just when we hover on top of this in this case I like to add text equals to white so as you can see here when we are over on top of this particular button right here we are able to see we'll be able to have white color but the problem right here this is an issue when we don't use group hover as you can see here when I, when I just like move my cursor just not close to this particular text here the text goes missing because we are not actually hovering on top of the text we are just hovering on top of the button and this is actually an issue which is one of the main issues that should be considered by every single developer so in this case i must be able to not just only hover on top of the text but i must be just when even when i hover on top of the button i must be able to see the text should be also be visible so this is the reason why we must be using group hover so in order to solve this particular problem, all you have to do is just need to add group hover styling effect. We all have to just go to the, the parent component of this particular button. In this case, this is going to be this particular button component right here. So I'll have to add condition right here. In this case, I have to say group. And with this particular group, basically we're just like identifying this particular button that's going to be the, the parent group right here. So in this case, I like to add group right in front of this particular hover right here like this. And this will uniquely identify what happens when we hover on top of this particular group right here. So in this case, when we hover on top of this particular group of this particular component, this particular effect will happen right here. And right now you are able to find that there's a huge difference that's happened right here. Because as you can see here, even when you hover on top of the button, this particular text is still white. And that's how group hover will be able to be used while designing buttons in Tailwind CSS. And that's the end of this particular video. Let's catch up on the next one.